So I'm in my local tractor supply store here in Wisconsin, and the manager finds out that I do a little bit of small and repair on the side. So she asked me if there's any chance that I could take a look at this Coleman BT200X mini bike that came back from a, uh, a purchaser because they said that gas is leaking around the carburetor. So here it is at my house, and uh, let's take a look, fire it up, and find out what's going on. So as you saw, uh, once it gets started, it definitely starts leaking gasoline. And um, it's definitely from behind the carburetor. Back to the... Uh, I have the gas turned on. Let's see if I can get in there real close. I have the gas turned on and there's a still st a steady stream of gas from right there. So let's turn the gas off. Yep, and it immediately shuts off. So it's not just about when the unit is running. Let's turn it back on. And yep, and the, the leak just starts right away again. All right, let's shut it off. We're obviously gonna take this apart and see what's going on. First thing we're gonna do is take, well, the air filter off and then probably 10 millimeter and pull the carburetor off. There's a couple of small screws up here as well. First, let's see if we can just... Oh, and the battery died. So let's get a closer look at this. All right, so we're going to take this gasket off. Remember how that goes on. And now we've got a fuel line here that we want to pinch off. So I gotta go get a fuel line clamp and then we got the linkage here to take off. Reach down here and pinch the clamp. And slowly ease that off. There we go. Pull this little spring out, and it came right off. Look at that. So here we are looking at the carburetor, and I'm wondering, I don't see a gasket either on this surface or on that surface. Is there supposed to be a gasket? You know, just for giggles. I'm going to reattach the fuel line 
and open up the fuel valve. Oh, okay. And there is gas leaking from over here again. So we'll shut that off. Pinch off the fuel valve, uh, excuse me, the hose, and remove that. And we're gonna have to go inside and do some research to find out if that is supposed to be, have a gasket, but you know what? What it's telling me, if gas is, if gas is leaking out from over here, that means the, the bowl is not, well, if the bowl is going up, the seat is not seating properly. So we're gonna take this apart and see if we can See if there's a little schmutz preventing the uh, the seat from stopping the gas flow. All right. So using a 10 millimeter socket, socket which is all things Chinese, let's pop this bowl off. Take the take the float out and here's the needle. And we're looking in there for anything chunky. <laughs> I don't see anything. I don't blow it out with some uh, carb cleaner anyway. Let's put it back together here. Okay, this is gas on position. What I'd really like to do is I want to blow some air in here, and then you you should be able to hear the air coming out. But then when you press this up and simulate gas pushing this float up, it should shut off the uh, gas flow into the bowl. Seems to work that way, so I'm gonna hold it upside down now and do the same kind of blowing action. Except for getting a little gas in my mouth. Yuck. Seems to be holding, so I don't know. Let's put the thing back together and see if we did any good.
Okay, let's get back to the bike. Fuel line back on. Now I have this in the on position and I took the clamp off the fuel line. I'll put this back on. Let's move that out of the way. And now before. There was gas that even now would have been leaking out of the carburetor. And it doesn't appear to be doing that anymore. So maybe we got this problem licked. So let's hook the linkage back up. Come on now. Put that back in. Put this back in the little hole. And basically. Press it back up tight. Oh, let's not forget this piece. Now, when we took this piece off, I didn't pay attention to this, but this goes into the hole on the valve cover over here, so. Slide this back in. Yeah, let's turn the gas off so it comes through the right slots there. I think we're good. There we go, we got back in the cover. Everything seems to be working fine. Throttle works. Ten millimeter nuts back in place. And let's tighten. That's the wrong way. Snug it up a little bit, doesn't have to be super, super tight. Air filter. Turn the gas back on, and that'd be the choke. Let's give it a pull. There you go. I'm going to take it for a ride around the block and come back and check for leaks again. But I think we got her licked. That's all it took was pop that uh, needle and seat out and uh, put it back together.
Yep, so I took it around the block for a ride and she's got some get up and pep, but uh, no gas leaking. Cool. Well, there you go, the Coleman BT200X. This one's from Tractor Supply. Thanks for watching.